which would you prefer to do digital painting or regular painting? Um, it's, I, I love both. I'm not like digital only for me. Right. Um, the, my ideal process is probably a little bit of both. Like I would do my color mock-ups and thumbnails and studies digitally. And then once I have those parts and pieces, take it to an actual like canvas to paint on. If I had all the time in the world and, uh, you know, like I had no expectations on that end, but uh, it's, it's one of those things where like real media, like physically picking up the paint and mixing it in. Like, yeah. I feel like I learned so much more that way. Whereas like working digitally, you learn these processes, it can be really quick, but you also, I feel like you plateau really quickly as well Yeah, because there isn't that sense of control and randomization and things you need to account for and, you know, happy accidents and discoveries. And yeah, like if you ever want to learn color better, just like buy a set of paints and mix it yourself. That's a good point. And I was just thinking as you were saying that it's like, God, it's so easy to cheat when you're or going, um, I can I, I can do something to make this better rather than like I should just know how to do it better. <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, That's like it, in that in that last Twitch stream, like I show you, like uh, for some reason the panels and Photoshop weren't showing up on that. The way you you color pick in Photoshop, it has like the color wheel and like a little square with like a gradient, like mm -hmm like this is super red and then this is super dark and white and black. Um, but like a lot of digital painters, like they'll just like drag that around to like, Oh, like I'll just choose a red and oh, right. I'll choose a darker red and just kind of paint like that. It's a very like mechanical process. Whereas I like to kind of base that on physical painting where, you know, like I pick out my colors and like, I'll use a mixer brush uh, to digitally mix them. And the benefit of that is you, because you are starting with the same base colors, your intermediate, intermediate colors, they're all related to each other because they have the base colors mixed in. So there is a relationship there because there's a little bit of this color in that. So this color looks like it belongs there because it has that relationship with your original colors. Okay. Yeah. Does so you use sense? it. Yeah. You use it more like a palette rather than just like I'm selecting my colors and now I'm using it. Yeah, that's probably like the biggest difference in my process to a lot of other digital artists, I think. Um, I think, I mean, there there are a lot that are working professionally that are faster, better than I am. But, yeah. you know, they started with this very mechanical foundation that I'm trying to figure out a way to blend. Um, yeah, just, you know, hoping that'll create a different output that stands out in this marketplace of other freelancers. Right. And are you using an external tablet to do this or are you using a, um, a like a Cintiq, like draw on the screen type thing? Like, I, I guess, how are you painting them? Uh, so I'm using an Intuos 4. It's a okay. non-display drawing tablet that I've had for years. I've, okay. Yeah. I've lusted after those display tablets. I know. So have I. <laughs> coming around to like, maybe I don't actually need it. Uh, because uh, I saw this video on YouTube. Some guy was saying like, look, with the t display tablet, like you're hunched over it, you're bent down, like it, it messes with your back. Hmm. Whereas the tablet, like you can sit up because you're looking at the screen and then drawing and not looking at what you're drawing. And it kind of helps ergonomically better. And you're not creating any better artwork because it's a display versus a, a base tablet and you'll save yourself thousands of dollars. <laughs> right. I don't mind. No, I I like the fact that there, I finally have an argument for having my bamboo tablet that I've had for like 10 million years. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Because <laughs> I, I just have no, yeah, I that was my splurge back then and it was a big deal. And now it's just like, oh, should I get a new one? But then I go to use it and it's like, no, I can still use this. I don't need to spend the money. Yeah, like Wacom has such like a cult of, I don't know, not personality about it, but like, Oh, we're like we're the shiniest and the best and right. like our most expensive is what all the pros need and what you need. And like, you don't, you don't need it to create great art. No, it's, it's a company that has to come up with a new, it's just like cars, you know, they can yeah. make the same type of car every year, but no, they have to well, innovate iPhones. it or iPhones. Yes. Yes. <laughs>